Hey guys, it's Wendy, AKA Kitty Street, and I have a Walt Disney World haul for you guys. I just got back from my mini vacation to Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And what did you do? You turned the temperatures down, right? I mean, it was in the mid 70s to high 80s the whole time I was in Florida. As we're driving into Georgia, my goodness, freezing at temperatures, 30s in the 30s, in the low 30s at that. So I had to grab a plush, a blanket, and some fuzzy socks real quick, but I'm glad to be back home. I wish all of you guys could have came with me on the trip. I wanted to do some serious vlogging, but when you go as a group and you know anything about Disney, you have to plan and you can't just stop and vlog unless you're planning to stop and vlog. So I didn't get a lot of that in. I did do uh, some shorts and I tried to do as much as I could because I also wanted to enjoy the time that I was there because the whole point was to go supposedly for baby Zaire's first birthday. You know, that's, that's the reason we use this time anyway. So let me tell you a couple of things that we got prior to the trip, things that we I already had bought a while back um, and things that I did buy while I was there. I had a, a budget and I spent every dime of my budget and that's okay because I had a blast. I had so much fun. And if you've never been to the parks, Magic Kingdom, um, Animal Kingdom, Epcot and Hollywood Studios, Typhoon Lagoon, Blizzard Beach, or Disney Springs and the such, you need to at least go once in your lifetime, but I'm telling you, plan, 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 and have a little bit of money to spend when you can get away with it. So with that said, the first thing I'm gonna say is anytime I make a trip, we always have to prepare the driving down there because we always drive because we're close enough to drive and plus you can bring back more stuff <laughs> when you drive. So you see this right here, this is one of those massive, big, big, big lounge pillows. And of course it has the pillowcase with the iconic Mickey Mouses on it. So this right here was used a lot because everybody used that as we're driving down there, sleeping on it. So if you're driving at any type and you get to take a break, take you some kind of pillow and a blanket. I'm telling you it works. Also, my mom was really, really smart. She bought a plush before we got to Disney World because there are thousands of plushes there yet if you got the money um anywhere from 19.99 on up and i mean on up but she purchased this little guy here for baby zaire before um we went and he loves it he loves the song i'm sorry if it's annoying you but i wanted to show you that she got this ahead of time and it was a half the cost and I'm glad because there was so many we would never be able to choose from. One thing I'm not gonna be able to show you that he did get, and I did put it in short, was one of those bubble wand makers because he has it with him and he's inseparable with it. But yes, yeah, she picked that up for him. And that was pretty much the only kind of item we got for the baby because he's one. What is he gonna what is he gonna remember from it or whatever? Okay, now she probably doesn't even know that I did this, but when you go to Walt Disney World, um, our first day there at the parks, um, if you have a Fitbit or a, a uh, Apple Watch or whatever that you got going on for activity, 30,000 steps right off the bat. Um, so get you some good shoes. Now my mom purchased these. I think she got these at Kohl's. They're um, Adidas uh, Disney slides with a little Minnie Mouse on it. I could not pass up showing you guys that, you know, you can get you some um, good little slides, half the price, because once you get to Disney, um, these suckers right here are astronomical. And yeah, if you got the money to blow, do it, but she got these ahead of time, and I just wanted to do a shout out with them because I thought they were so incredibly cute, and she carried them around in this little bag. I think she got that somewhere at one of the, um, um, little flea market things when we were there or whatever. That's a little shout out for that. Okay, so did a little bit of shopping. Always have a couple things that I always buy. I'm going to show you one of them right off the bat, but bear with me because it had a little bit of trouble and it didn't make the trip back as well as it could have. And that's this beauty right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you this before I show you other stuff. This was not the first purchase that I made but it was a purchase that was going to get made. And if you can tell, this is the um, encasing Mickey ears balloon. And if you see right here, one of the balloons, one of the ears balloon of uh, is the balloon has deflated. In this retrospect, I treated this balloon like 
precious art <laughs> the whole time. When I got it, I took it to the room and put it somewhere where I thought it would be safe. When we put it in the car to bring it back, I put it in an area where it wouldn't have sun on it. And I thought I could get it back and do this haul before this happened. But unfortunately, um, you know, it's a little deformed, but I still love it. And if you can see it, it basically is stating that it's Magic Kingdom's 50th anniversary, and that's the gold castle. They had different types of balloons, but I always usually get this Mickey Mouse ear one. And no lie, I've had some of them over the years last up to three months after I purchased them at my house, and I'd look at it and reminisce the whole time. This one here, I will say, when I was buying it, there were several of them in the, the big bunch that they had that already was doing this, and I said, oh, I hope mine doesn't do that. And it did not do it till the day till we were on the right way home almost four days later so i don't know if it's some kind of malfunction or not but i still love it fifteen dollars and and you're saying fifteen dollars for a deformed thing that's okay um because this is what happens to them after a month anyway they start <laughs> deflating but it's the memories and i get one every year i did not purchase one for baby zaire because i was worried about how it would get home because we had a group with us but I made sure I got one for me. It comes with these handy dandy little um, Mickey ears um, holders and that's what weights it down. And that is always a purchase that I get because if you don't know anything about me, I love balloons like nobody's business. Also, you know, you gotta get you some um, t-shirts and things. Um, the Walt Disney World iconic one, this was the one I wanted to wear to Epcot, but long story short, we never <laughs> made it to Epcot um, because we were just, we only had a few days and we had to pick and choose where we were gonna go, but you gotta get you some clothes. Um, this right here is a pair of, of um, leggings that I bought. If you can see, it has the um, beautiful Mickey ears on it, I mean, excuse me, mini ears, and it's kind of like this little beautiful pattern. Um, yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be Georgia weather in Florida. These never even got um, taken out of the pack. I purchased these at a store called Torrid. They were, um, I had like a little coupon or something. And I think they were $19.99 uh, and I love them. And I will be wearing these, of course, um, here in Georgia in the winter time. But Florida, it never saw the light of day because it was hot as a mess there and you did not need that. Okay, so let's talk real quick about what you get when you get to Florida. I'm not going to say it's free because you pay for everything on your trip, but I will show you the first thing that comes is you get a little um, envelope in the mail from Walt Disney World when you pay for your trip right before it comes. And I don't know if you guys um, are familiar with the Magic Bands. Now, I opted not to purchase the new Magic Band because I think I have, if I don't have 20, I have 30 of every color of Magic Bands and I chose to use red, but I don't know where it is. I think it's in the car somewhere. So I went and pulled this one out of my stash, which was gonna be my second color of orange. And this is how you get in and out of your rooms. But you can purchase these from anywhere from $49 on up. Um, I could have gotten one and I could have done some um, interactive things with it, but I'm glad I didn't because these work just as well. If you have them, you don't have to pay for them. They just link to your room and to your, your um, park um, access and all that stuff. So you get this in the mail. And what I wanted to show you on this is that, you know, it comes with a couple of little things that we never do, like the free mini golf. But I wanted to show you this little tag and I'm glad that we got it. Um, well, here's this part of it. I was about to say, did it fall out? Oh, here we go. So it has these little um, uh, luggage tags with the 50th anniversary on it. So, you know, I thought that was cute and you can tie them onto your um, suitcase and it just says Walt Disney World. It has the 50th anniversary and you can write your information on the back. How cute is that? I thought that was just adorable and I'm so sorry for the glare. So there was three of them in there and my mother got one of them and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other two. I'll probably put one on mine and who knows what the X is. So you get that and you get like little um, things with your purchase, like if you have time, which we never have time to do those things. It's usually the the worldwide of sports come kind of something and the mini golf. And every once in a while we get to do the mini golf, but not this trip because it was jam packed going, going, going from the minute we got there. Also, um, when we had birthdays, you know, Zaire had a birthday, my nephew had a birthday, and they came around to our room, which we had this time stayed at the All Stars Resorts because honestly, that was all we could get. Um, everything was booked. 
Um, and so they brought this little thing around and they, they had this little treat in it. Uh oh, what was that? Oh, the, they had the little treat, um, Mickey ear treat, and it had a card, but my nephew took his card with it. It said something about happy birthday, whatever. But this was in it for free in the room if you want to call it free and um i kept he kept his little button but um we had this little button which if you know anything you can erase this with um you know some alcohol and and put other names on it but it says happy birthday it's a happy birthday pin and i thought that was cute so i wanted to kind of give a shout out for that um free stuff that they brought immediately to the room and i thought was a really really great so when you go to the parks um I always say, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this. And sometimes I get stuff and I sometimes back out of it the last minute because I say, do I really, really need it? And this was one of the items that I kept him hauling around for. Because we were only there for a few days, I was like, do I want to pay? And at that time, the mugs, because we didn't have a package because they don't have like the free dining and all the things we used to do. Um, this was an individual thing. And at that time, I was thinking, do I need this? Do I need this? Do I need this? And it was $19.99, but while we were on our trip, the prices went up. So if you're checking out the Disney news, everything's jacked up more in Disney. So I'm glad we got there when we did. So last minute purchase, I went ahead and got this 50th anniversary mug. You can kind of see some of the iconic things around Disney, the parks. What really got me, because I have about 20 of these things, no lie was the little Mickey ears. I did not have the mug with the Mickey ears. Um, if you don't know anything about them, they, they're magnet, magnetized. And when you buy them, they stick them on a little thing to activate them. And at the end of your trip, they're no longer able to be used to be refilled. So you have to purchase a new one. So the reason why I bought it is because I drink a lot of coffee. Um, and I thought, you know, if, if it's going to be something I want to remember by, it'll be worth it. But they went up from $19.99 to $21.99. Like I said, I have tons of them that I have used over the last five or six years. They're faded. They're, they've been well used. This one, I will be using it um, this winter. And then after that, I might put it up just because it's iconic. It is the 50th anniversary and I might put it with my little area that I, I put stuff in. And basically the little Mickey ears was the seller for me. Um, they had them in the, this is how it looks. It's a real small cup. I think it's about eight ounces. You can put them in the microwave, but you know, it will mess up the little thing. But I mean, I put it in the microwave. I also use it in the dishwasher as well. The only thing I'll say about this, they had the yellow handles with the blue top and they had the blue, royal blue with the yellow top, and I opted for this one, and I thought it was a pretty good thing. So $21.99, eh, I used the gift card that I had that someone gave me, and I thought, okay, well, that's a gift to me for an early birthday birthday present, okay? So the other thing that I always purchase, and I'm, for time purposes, gonna do this real, real quick. I'm gonna try to show you how I do this, but I, was, I always buy a pen, and I know that glare is horrible, but this is the 50th anniversary Walt Disney pen with the castle. And I thought it was so gorgeous. Now they had them with different characters on them and they come out with different um, things. Sometimes they say yellow, sometimes they say uh, green or red. And this one here was silver. And the reason why I picked this one is because I wanted one with the castle only. I didn't really want a character and I wanted something. I actually was looking for 2022, but apparently they didn't have any 2022s or very, very little of them. And so I opted to remember that the, the 50th anniversary was going to be in the year 2022. And the silver um, thing, because I picked up my receipts, I tried to keep them. Let me see which one. I think it was $11.99. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had this for you guys to know what the, what it was. So yeah, nope. Of course, I'm going to pick up everything but that one. Oh no, here it is. I did have it. It was $11.99. I don't know if you can even see that on the receipt. This is the receipt. So $11.99 for this pen, which I don't think is bad for Disney and I keep them. And how, why, you may be thinking, why does she have this pen? Well, guys, I have been collecting pens on every year and this, this hat is had it and then these things might fall off. But ever since um, 2000 and what well, was 2007 when we started going, but every year I have collected a pin and I put it on this hat and this hat is so dusty, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what I do. And then the last couple of years, even with COVID going on, we, I actually had gotten a couple of, we had went in the year 2020 and I got this one. Is it upside down? No, it's not with the Mickey Minnie Mouse. I'm sorry for that glare, guys. 
and then this one here was 2021. I didn't have anything with poo on it, and I didn't go in 2021. My daughter actually bought this and brought it back to me um, when she went on a, a trip to Florida, and I thought that was awesome. So I don't have a 2022 pin, but I do have this 50th anniversary, and that's what I'm gonna call it for, I guess, my 2022 pin. Now, let's talk some more about pins. So, guys, um, I don't know if you know um, about Disney. They have pins that you can do pin trading for time purposes. I'm not going to get into that. Look it up. But everywhere you go, whether it's a resort, restaurant, store, um, you can ask to see the pin um, trading um, boards that they have, and you can swap them out. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. Now, these are some old pins that I had. Um, and I did do a few, and even Baby Zaire did a few um, pin tradings. And um, when I talk, I think I have them. Do I have them right here? I may have them. I don't know. Yes, he did. So, yeah, Baby Zaire traded pins. Um, I don't remember what it was, but he got this one here, which is the Mad Hatter Hats um, pin. And he also got the little uh, buzzard from um, Haunted Mansion, which Haunted Mansion, Cinderella and Haunted Mansion are like my two favorite things of Disney kind of things. Um, otherwise it's Harry Potter all the way. And you have these little, um, pins that you stick on the back. They're like shaped like little Mickey ears, but I'll tell you right now, they're not the greatest because right now this situation has got to be fixed. I've got to change it. And I saw people with book bags and stuff carrying around. I said, oops, I think that's what I'm going to do. Get a book bag and I'm going to start, um, changing out my pins. Okay. So real quickly, um, I want to talk about, um, some more free stuff. And then I'm going to talk about what I actually paid real money for. And if you don't know, there is also a character warehouse. Um, if you get a chance to hit up that store, you need to, because it's like three times cheaper than what you would get at the parks. But I do want to tell you that, you know, you get, um, if you want to get gift cards for people, um, and give them to them for birthdays, especially people who love to go to the parks. You can get, now this one actually was my room key. <laughs> they gave me this um, just in case my magic band didn't work. So that's a room key. But this right here, you can download um, um, money onto these gift cards and you can use them throughout the park if you don't want to carry cash. And I thought these are real, real cute here. Um, these were just some gift cards at different places that you could do. Um, and I thought they were pretty cool. So let's talk about the character warehouse. And then I'm going to show you a few things that I had gotten before the trip and a few items that I paid mega dollars for. And um, yeah, and also one little thing that I found on the ground, because <laughs> that's me. So the character warehouse, um, you can get some good deals. And I'm gonna give you an example. So I just was talking to you about these trading pins. These pins right here, I'm gonna hide the price of it at the, the character warehouse. And I'm gonna show you what they normally are at the park. Let me see if I can hide this so you don't see it. Do you see that right there? That says a 30, I think it's $32 and 99 cents for this frozen lantern lander, lantern um, with four pins that you could trade. They have every character, if you wanna do Cinderella, if you wanna do the villains, if you wanna do Toy Story, whatever, 32.99. But at the character warehouse, they have this one here for how much? This is my kind of deal. That's why I show you things, look for deals, guys for $3.99. I was peeling it away to get to the $32.99. That's what all that is. But I actually paid $3.99 for these $32.99, which I would never pay for some pins. And I will be, if when I go back again, which I'm pretty sure I will sooner or later, probably later, because Disney is getting crazy expensive. And it was so crowded. I, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding you. In the middle of October, it was so, so crowded. But $3.99. Also, um, and I took the price off of this and I because I wasn't going to haul it, but I went and grabbed it. Um, I wanted to show you, like I said, Magic Kingdom is one of my all-time favorite um, iconic rides at the Magic Kingdom. I have all kinds of pins and I do all kinds of little things for it, but I did not have a lot of merchandise. So this right here was $11.99. I regret that I took, I, I hunted everywhere and I think I threw it, the trash out right at our last stop before we got home and the tag was in it. I don't know what possessed me to take it off. I wasn't even thinking about doing a Disney haul, but this right here was $11.99 Haunted Mansion. It's got the iconic um, wallpaper print inside of it. And this is one of my fave, fave, faves, other than my deformed little uh, balloon um, items that I purchased. I was so proud about that. 
but then you know I, I i this one right here blew me away and when i say it blew me away i could not believe it but guys they have the 80s retro crocs <laughs> and in my size i could not believe this was at the character warehouse so which means it's not now if you would have got these at the park um, and it, this just has, a, I think it has a grand total. Let me see if it has a price on it. No, it doesn't have a price on here, but I'll tell you what it is in a minute. At the park, these shoes would have been anywhere from $49.99 on up. And I'm talking about probably on up for adult sizes. And I just love it that they're the retro kind. They're a little bit high t higher with the um, size top there. And I thought, what on earth? So when I went over there and looked at them, I said, these things are probably going to be expensive. They were $19.99. I don't know if that meant something with a green color, but these Crocs that I found were $19.99, so you know I had to scoop them up, and I hope I can wear them. I'm not a big Croc wearer, but everybody's wearing them, and I've been into Stranger Things like nobody's business, so I said I'm going to purchase those suckers, and I'm going to love them. Also, um, this isn't from the Character Warehouse, but this is somebody who purchased this for me a while back, and I was gonna give you an idea of things that you can have for memories. Of course, it's got my name, Wendy. It should say AKA Kitty Street, but that was this was prior to that. And it just has all the different things that we did on this trip. Walt Disney World, of course, it says it's the most magical place on earth. Um, we've been, we went to Animal Kingdom, we went to Downtown Disney, which is now called Disney Springs. Um, we didn't go to Blizzard Beach because we didn't have time, but we went to Hollywood Studios. Um, my first and all-time favorite ride ever is Peter Pan's Flight. I'm in love with this three-minute dark kitty ride. It is wonderful, aka my name is Wendy and I'm in it. Um, you got to always ride the monorail when you go to Magic Kingdom. Um, we, like I said, we didn't do any beaches like Typhoon Lagoon, um, Main Street, I didn't take a lot of videos of the castle because I got a thousand and one pictures, but it says, when you wish upon a star, um, that's the little thing. And my mother's, okay, Haunted Mansion is my second favorite ride. And then It's a Small World is my mother's favorite ride. And of course we didn't make it to Epcot, but that's the other part. And you can get these little things and you can put all the different activities that you do on your day or your trip and you can put them in here and you can hang it up on your wall and you can be like, yeah, I remember that, I remember that, I remember that. And yeah, so also I um, was walking down the street and um, I, I thought this fell off of me because I have it one that says, um, it actually says uh, Walt Disney World. Um, animal kingdom on it but <laughs> this one when i saw it my ears are falling off which by the way i didn't purchase these there these are some old ones that i have because i don't particularly like them they pinch my head and give me headaches so i don't really buy them because they're outrageously priced so these i think i got at the goodwill for next to nothing um but i found this little harry potter um zip up thing and i carried it around with my credit cards and my gift cards the whole time in my little wallet thing that I had. It was awesome. And I said, thank you. I had my little Harry Potter shout out there too. One other thing that I purchased the last time we went in 2020 was this Madame Leota sipper cup. Now this one here, um, I bought at Sleepy Hollow. If you know anything about Magic Kingdom, when we got a funnel cake, it does light up. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, if you know anything about the Haunted Mansion and Madame Leota, she's the little lady who talks inside the crystal ball. And so this one here was a nineteen ninety nine. Um, excuse me, it was nine ninety nine with the drink. Made it fourteen ninety nine. Excuse me, I'm, it was not nineteen ninety nine. It was um, the drink was like four bucks, and the the glass thing was like nine ninety nine or something like that. But had to have it, and I wanted to show you that because they didn't have anything like that this year. Okay, almost done with this haul, but I'm going to start to show you some of the actual purchases that I went into the store and bought. Um, some of these things are just random. <laughs> And, and then when I say real random, it's because I'm very cheap, but I thought I'm going to get these because these are pretty super cool. So I'm pulling these things straight out of the bag and a couple of items that my mother um, actually purchased and she's allowing me to show you because I wouldn't pay for them, but she got them because she wanted them. So the randomness of it is guys, they had these little bags <laughs> and you know, they, they have all these cute little things on there. They have the, the Tinkerbell with the 50 cause everything was going on with the 50 and it has the castle 
with all of the um, little things on it. I'm sorry for that glare. These bags were $2 and with tax, they were $2.13. One of them is hers, one of them is mine. Um, I'm going to be putting some of my goodies in there and putting them up on my, one of my dressers to just kind of open them up. And for a cheap little souvenir that has the 50th on it, for two bucks, I thought it was great, a great idea. But they also had the bigger ones. And guys, I thought these would be outrageous. I thought they'd be real, real expensive. And I can use this to carry groceries in or whatever I want to because they're massive. Um, this was $3. So $2 for the small one and $3 for the gigantic one. What? So I went ahead and, and went and picked this up. It also will always remind me that I was there on their 50th anniversary at Walt Disney World. Okay, the two items that my mom purchased um, at Hollywood Studios, they have the Slinky Dog Dash and they also have the, um, the little... Um, I started, are they minions? The little saucer ride, and it is one of her favorite rides, and she just wanted to have it. This right here, if you can see, it was $9.99, so she got this to put in her collection. It has the little seat where you sit down, and you, you're actually really flinging back, and the minions are driving. Pretty good ride. I thought that was cool. She also picked up this one also for $9.99. This has the Mickey and Minnie Dumbo, and Dumbo was a winner winner chicken dinner with baby Zaire. So she got this baby, um, the Dumbo um, one with Mickey and Minnie and the flying saucer ride with the mini, the minions, $9.99 a piece. And that was her two souvenirs that she wanted. And I said, get what you want because it's you, you do you and I'm gonna do me. So for me, last two items and I'm done. I picked up this cute little um, purse what got me is that I always look for purses that have something I can stick my phone in and my phone fit per perfectly in there. Um, it has the iconic mini faces. I loved it. And then I always, always, always love to have the little um, sections where you can stick in your credit cards, your driver's license, you know, you can stick some money or whatever. So I looked at the price of it and I thought, eh, do I want to get this? Um, it was $29.99 and that was the price. But guys, they had the purse, which was just a little bit bigger for $39.99, but it didn't have the pocket to put your phone in it and it did not have the section. And you probably, they probably wanted you to buy this to stick in that probably. But this is perfect for me when I'm just running out to a store or if I'm going somewhere where I don't want to have a big bag. Um, I love smaller things and I thought that was so cute for um, $29.99. I wouldn't have bought it regular, but this was my blow money for my trip. And so... I blew money on the trip. Last but not least, and it was probably one of my favorite um, um, gifts that I bought. This was, um, let's see, where's the price on it? It was $24.99. Whoops, $24.99. And as you can see, it's a Mickey bucket and it's got trick or treat. But the reason why I had to have this, because I've looked at these several times, is that if you push it one way, you can kind of see the, the, the lighting. I don't know if you can actually see the colors of it lighting, but if you push it the other way. Okay, so it kind of sings the Halloween kind of music at Disney World, which we were right there at the heat of the, the not so scary Halloween. And um, let me put my little thing back so it's not running the battery down. So yeah, guys, if you get a chance to hit up Disney World in the next week or so before Halloween, it's awesome. I highly recommend it. And with that said, guys, that's the end of my Walt Disney World haul. I'm going to go grab a blanket because I'm freezing. And thank you so much for hanging in there. And if you hung in here that long, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do it. Ring that notification bell, like, share, and comment. And until the next one, take care, guys.